As you already know, famous people like Mr. Beast, Alex Formosi and Ali Abdal are using their special captions. I don't want you to steal from them, I just want to teach you how you can do them yourself for free and uplift your videos to another level. So let's jump into our favorite app CapCut and create a new project. We will start with Alex Hermosi captions and here I have one of his clips that we will work on. This is a vertical format and in case you have a horizontal video and you want to have a vertical go to ratio and choose 9 by 16 and adjust its size. Then go to the text, auto captions, choose your language and click create. The system will then read your video and place the captions on your timeline. But as you see, the captions are in the default font and not in Hormozy style. Let's change that. But first what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of the dead space, which will make our video more engaging. As you can see here, there is a space between the captions, so move your playhead to the start of the text, highlight the main video and click Command plus B or Ctrl plus B on Windows, highlight the first video and drag it to the left. With that, Everything shifted to the left. To make our work easier, check if your snapping icon is turned on. Go ahead and remove all the other dead spaces. Once you're done, let's change the font. Click on the text, go up to the text, and the font we will use is the bold font which Alex is mostly using. If you don't have that, go to thefont.com and find the bold font and download it. It's 100% free. You can also click on the link in the description to go straight to the font. Then go to your download folder, click twice on that font and install it. Make sure that at this time your CapCut app is turned off. Go back to CapCut and go to font. Because you just installed the font it's not going to be on the top but you just have to scroll down to the bottom and you find it. Make sure apply to all is turned on and all our text is now in the bold font. Then we will increase the font a little bit so we have two lines on the screen. Then scroll down and click on stroke and increase or decrease the thickness of the stroke depends on your likings. For example if you have more than two lines on the screen highlight the text, go up to captions, place the cursor where you want the text to break down and hit enter. Do that till the end of your video. When you're done with that, move the text a bit higher. Now as you know, Hermosi captions are changing colors, angles and are rich with emojis. Let's do that with our text. First we will change the colors. Move to the beginning of the text where you want to change the color. Highlight the text and duplicate it by holding Command plus C or Control plus C to copy and Command plus V or Control plus V to paste it. Click on V to disable it, choose lower text, highlight the first line and I'm gonna change the color. Then choose upper text, click V to enable it, highlight the second part of the text and change color. Now we have to listen and move to the point where he says short hair. Highlight both texts and cut it in half by pressing Command plus B. In the upper text delete the first part and in the lower part delete the second part. What we have now is this. I met Layla and I had short hair and she said... Now let's change the colors and angles to some keywords. First we have to uncheck the apply to all. Then move to the keyword you want to change the color, highlight the text and change the color. Here we will change the color, the angle and we will also increase the text a little bit. Repeat the process till the end of the video. The last step we will do is add some emojis. Go to the website called emojipedia.org and find the emoji that you want to add to your text, click on it 
and click copy button. Go back to CapCut, go to text, add text, delete the text and paste emoji. Increase it and place it wherever you like. Let's also add animation to that emoji. Go up to animation and choose the one you like. I will use blue right, set the duration to 0.3 seconds and for out animation I will use blur left. If we play it now we have this cool emoji animation. I met Layla and I had short hair and she said Now add some more emojis to your other text. One more thing before we finished. If you highlight all the captions, you can add animation to them all. We are done with Hermosi captions, let's see our end result. I met Layla and I had short hair and she said, I think you look good with long hair. And I said, okay, and then I didn't cut it. And so that was when my hair went from shorter to longer and it's pretty much just stayed there. If you're an ugly guy, you might want to consider growing a beard because it leaves half of your face to imagination. Now let us move to Mr. Beast. Import your video and create auto captions for that video. Go to text, auto captions, choose your language and click create. Now Mr. Beast uses the font called Comica Axis. If you don't have that font, again go to thefont.com, find Comica Axis font and download it. When you have installed the font, go back to CapCut, stretch the timeline, go to basic go to font and find Comica Axis font and select it. Increase the text. Scroll down and click on stroke. Set the thickness of the stroke and move the text higher. If you watch Mr. Beast's videos closely, you'll see that he usually displaying two or three words on the screen. So one way is to break the words down to two or three by going up to captions place a cursor after two or three words and hit enter. Continue this till the end of your text. The other way is to highlight all text, go to text, animation, captions, scroll down and choose spring. So if we play it now, we have this. You know, you're very awkward. Like, you know, why, how, why would you make it? There's millions of people trying. And I just remember being like, I don't know. I just like it. I'm, I'm going to do this or I'm going to die trying. <laughs> Good. The only thing we have to do now is to change the color to some keywords and angles. Before that, make sure you uncheck apply to all. Move to the keyword, highlight it, change the color, increase it and change the angle. And here you have the clone of Mr. Beast's caption. You know, you're very awkward. Like, you know, why, how, why would you make it? There's millions of people trying. And I just remember being like, I don't know. I just like it. I'm, I'm going to do this or I'm going to die trying kind of thing. Yeah. Also, I was a really a big pussy back then. What about Ali Abdal? If we check this. What your life would look like five years from now if you took a completely different path. You can see that he's using simple font and rectangle, which is a little bit rounded. So let's recreate that. Create a new project and import a video you want to work on. I will use this Alice interview as a reference. Go up to text, auto captions, choose language and click create. Now go up to text and basic. I found similar font that Ali is using and that is Fortitude. Click on that, increase the font and choose the black color for the text. Then scroll down where you see background, click on that and choose the color. The color that he's using for rectangle is not totally white, but it's a little bit towards gray. Move down a bit and set the rounded rectangle to 40. So if we play this now, we see that we have too many words on the screen 
and that we are missing the animation on the text. Let's break down the words first. Click on the text and go to captions. Place a cursor on the point where you want to break down the line and click enter. Do that process till the end of the text. When you are done, highlight all the text, go up to animation, in InTap choose type to animation. Now from here we just have to add the speed of the animation on each text separately according to voice of speaking. Like pursuing some, like pursuing some, like pursuing something. Once you're done, you have created Ali Abdal's captions. Like pursuing something and feeling ourselves making progress towards a goal that we've set for ourselves is profoundly motivating. So if you're feeling demotivated by the exercise, taking action and actually moving forwards in some of these areas that you want to work on will, I promise, improve your motivation. Congratulations. If that video was helpful, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.